Hey, welcome back class. This video, we're gonna cover the next step in our cribbage board project. Uh, if you recall the last two videos, we programmed the router to cut out these different pockets. We programmed the router to cut around the outside edge and leave some tabs, uh, but we didn't do anything about all these tiny little holes in here. So we're gonna set that up in this tutorial today uh, and you will turn this G code in via the Google Classroom uh, after you've turned it into that .tap file. So we're gonna get started on this page here. This is where we left off before. Um, if you're looking at it and you don't see the cam tab over here, maybe you're on the model tab that wouldn't show any of that tool path. Uh, you wanna make sure you click on cam tab. Um, and then we're gonna come up here and pick the drill function. Now we already drilled once on here when we did these two holes that are gonna align the cover uh, with the base of our cribbage board. And when we did that, we used a quarter inch flat end mill. So we actually used a router bit to drill in. Uh, this time we're gonna drill all these other holes with an eighth inch drill bit. So we're gonna come in here, we'll go tools by type. Uh, we're gonna go to any drill. And then under the any drill, we can just type in one eighth. That's the diameter of the drill bit we're gonna use. Uh, and you can pick any of these drills here that say they're uh, 0.125 in diameter and have a, an angle. That's the angle, the, the two surfaces here on the tip intersect of 118 degrees. So we'll select that. Again, we can turn off the flood. Uh, we're going to leave all of these speeds here at the, the preset speeds that they've given us in Inventor. Uh, then we're going to move on to geometry. Now, you're probably going, oh my gosh, all these holes, do I need to click all of them, Mr. Coleman? Uh, and there's actually an easier way to do it. We're going to use this select same diameter option. Uh, and then the first thing we do is if we come down here to this containment boundary, uh, we just pick a piece of geometry on our project to say, this is your boundary. All right, any hole that's the same size in this boundary, uh, we can pick. And you can see they've got some some really complicated boundaries here. We're just gonna come over after we've made sure we click this containment boundary button uh, and pick the circle that makes up the outside edge of our cribbage board. Uh, then I'm gonna come back here to hole faces and I'll click it. And I can just come on here, pick one of these eighth inch holes. Right? And just that quickly, uh, the computer program, it'll pick like the optimal path to, to move around here. Uh, where it's doing the least amount of picking up and back and forth. So this should give us the shortest cutting time. Um, usually this takes about 10 to 15 minutes when we put it on the router to drill all these holes, uh, which may seem like a long time. But when you consider if you had to drill all these by hand, you'd probably be at it all week for five 45 minute clash periods at the drill press and it wouldn't turn out nearly as neat. Um, I think we're we're making good use of the technology we've got available to us. Now we're going to go to the Heights tab. We haven't done a whole lot with this height tab. Um, what it's doing, you can see I've got some different lines here. Here's the top of my project. Uh, this height tab is setting up uh, how high the router needs to go in between moving from hole to hole. So I'm going to leave the clearance height. That's this orange line here set where it is. Uh, this means the router bit, or in this case, the drill bit is going to lift up. So there's four tenths of an inch between our project. Uh, in the tip of the bit, if it's doing really fast moves. Uh, as it's going from hole to hole down here, that's its retract bit or its retract height. And I'm gonna cut that in half. Uh, I'm also gonna come to the feed height. I'm gonna cut that in half and I'm gonna leave the top height the way it is. And I'll leave the bottom height the way it is. Okay, just by cutting those in half, it doesn't seem like much, but now our router's gotta travel half the distance up and down. Uh, in between drilling those hundreds of holes. Again, that'll just speed things up a little bit for us. So I've mentioned in other videos, you know, we're only making one part. We don't really need to optimize it. Uh, but here, right, speed's kind of of the essence. So by reducing these numbers, we can reduce the time it takes to cut. Now we'll come over here to cycle and just confirm that drap drilling rapid out is the one that is indeed picked. If drilling wrap it out isn't selected on yours, you can click this drop down menu uh, and find drilling wrap it out. Right, now we're gonna click okay. I'm gonna use my view cube over here to move back to that home view. 
Uh, now, we've already confirmed these top three work. Right? You've already turned them in if you're under this video. So I'm just going to click on Drilling Rapid Out now. Uh, I'll highlight that one. And I'm going to go to the Simulate menu. This will allow me to just simulate that one portion of the program. Right? And if I click Play, right, I can see the drill bit is going in. Right? It's drilling out those holes. Uh, if you'd like to confirm they're going to the right depth, we can come to Statistics. No. Nope. We can come to information, um, and if you look at the Z rate here, you can see that Z rate is changing, uh, and it's it's dropping down to 0.5 uh, at its lowest spot. I can kind of see it hitting 0.5 there, um, and then going back and forth. Yep. So uh, I don't want to watch this whole thing. I'm going to click the fast forward button and bring it to the end, right, and I can see it's drilled all the holes around the outside edge. Things are looking good. I like what I've got, so I'm going to close out of the simulate menu. I'm going to save this. Hopefully, you've clicked save a couple times throughout this tutorial. All right. And then the last thing we need to do is post process it. Right. Now, I should have mentioned uh, when I came into post process, I just had this drill for rapid out selected. I'll even show you what I did there. So make sure, just like when we simulated, we just want to select drill for rapid out for our post process. Uh, we're going to come in here. Now, since you've done this already, it's probably already defaulted in this section to the Mach 3 mil. Um, it's going to give you that generic program name again. So maybe save this with like your initials and then uh, we'll call it our drilling cycle. There's an N in drilling. All right. uh, so I got my initials drilling cycle. Then I can come down and click post. Um, this is going to save it um, to an inventor file right now. Okay, again, I would recommend you save this to your desktop just so it's easy to find. Uh, and then once we've processed this and we've created the G code, you're going to submit that .tap file via the Google Classroom page. So I'll click Save. Okay, here's what writes our code. Uh, and what I want you to do is just confirm uh, when we look down here at line 8, it should say Drill 4. Right? If you see like 2D Contour or 2D Pocket, uh, that means you selected some of that code from a previous assignment to include with this G code. So we should just see drill four here. All right, thousands of line of code uh, telling the router where it needs to drill all those holes. Uh, and once you've seen this, you've done a good job. You can congratulate yourself. You're almost finished. Uh, the last thing you need to do is come to your desktop, find that uh, .tap file. I'm not seeing my .tap file here. Oh, here it is. All right, it looks like a little notepad. Um, this is the file, the AK drilling cycle, um, that you would submit via the Google Classroom page to get credit for this. So go ahead and get that turned in. If you've got questions, things aren't going your way, uh, please feel free to ask questions of me, and I will certainly get you going in the right direction. Thanks.